Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this video, I am going to talk about 5 checkboxes that needs to be checked for someone who is from a different background and wants to make their career in data science. So if you are someone who is a data science aspirant but you have a different background then this video is for you. Just ensure to watch the video till the end so that your data science journey is smoother. Let's get started. So just to reiterate what is going to be the context of this video, we are not going to talk about what all topics you need to learn to become a data scientist. Rather, we will talk about what are those checkboxes that you need to ensure are checked so that your data science journey is smoother. Okay. So let's come here and try to see what are these checkboxes. So checkbox number one, data. What I mean by that? There are a lot of job roles in market where people interact with data day in and day out. Okay, to give a few names, maybe data engineer, data analyst and those kind of people, right? But there is a possibility that you do not have any background with data or you have never interacted with data. So you might not be familiar with basic terminologies like structured query language, uh, a database table, an RDBMS system, data storing, data fetching. So if you find yourself uncomfortable with these terms, then take some time, go back and study about basics of data, like how it is stored, how it is fetched, how it is processed and try to write some SQL queries that will help you a lot. Okay. Coming to the second important point, computer program. What I mean by that? Well, I do not expect a data science aspirant to be a super coder but at the same time i expect a data science aspirant to know basics of computer programs so what are these basics i'm talking about here so let me throw a few terms at you for example for loops while loops uh, apis data storage what is an array what is a constant what is a variable so if you find yourself uncomfortable with these terms which i just threw then again take some time go back and do a little bit of coding practice it will help you a lot coming back to the third point basic statistics okay so what is basic statistics i'm talking about here statistics itself is a huge field and it's not possible to know everything end to end in statistics and this problem is very common for people who do not have any mathematics or statistics background right but there are few basic things that we as data scientists must be aware of or must know to name a few log functions, probability, standard deviation, variances, normal distribution, probability distribution functions. If you find yourself uncomfortable with these terms, then take some time, spend some time on statistics and then ensure that this checkbox is checked for you. Okay. Let's come to the fourth point. I am talking about analytical ability here. So what is analytical ability or analytical thinking? So there is no, uh, you know, hard and fast defined threshold that you should reach this level of analytical thinking. But uh, just to put here very simply, all the machine learning algorithms and all the feature engineering that we do in data science need us to think little analytical. Okay. So if you are able to put your thoughts on some problem and you are able to put those thoughts in proper structure to give you an example let's say i give you 10 numbers okay and i tell you give me the third largest number are you able to think what is the step one what is step two what is step three if you are able to think and if you are able to write it at least in a piece of pen and paper then maybe this checkbox is checked for you so as I told, there is no uh, score or no threshold where you have to reach, but more the better. Okay. Coming to the fifth checkbox, domain knowledge. As I always keep saying, more you know about some domain, easier it will be for you to work in that domain. Having said that, this checkbox is not a blocker for your data science journey. Means I'm not saying you cannot start learning data science if you do not know about a particular domain but yes 
if you know about a particular domain for example if you are familiar with retail and cpmg or oil and gas or finance more you know about these domains how they work more it will be easier for you to work with the data okay so that is about this checkbox so guys i have just thrown some topics randomly at you just to give you an idea of what are the things needed but that's not all if you want me to create a list of all the needed topics at step 0 let me know in comment section i'll try my best to create a list and share with all of you okay having said that the future of data science is looking really bright as i spoke in my last video the link for which i'll paste in description okay so i hope i was able to clear some of your doubts or some of your queries regarding where to start that's an important question for a data science aspirant so if you like the video please go ahead and press the like button also share with your friends who would be interested in knowing more about data science and machine learning i request you to subscribe the channel right away if you have not done so thanks for your time thank you